sorry guys the last video got cut but we were here actually like system uh, so what you're gonna do is open system installation CDI yes. so in like the directory so look for the same in your USB drive this is that system installation CDI yes. this is yeah uh, and the CDI is in the one I have provided to download is this installer you just have to drag this installer onto your this thing authenticate and replace it so it'll replace it easily I think it should ask for password but sometimes it doesn't doesn't matter make sure it copies perfect is this really important yeah see that there it is it's asked for password always as usual yeah there it is it's copying OS X installer this really 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 important part and the next part is the most vital part of the thing oh my god okay so there it is it's copied so the next thing is go back there's one more packages open the packages and there you have all these files they're really really important every file I've made every file in this they're really important that like they add special support for every to run everything including temperature monitor stability and everything so in your USB drive open packages you'll find all these packages well you won't have these folders as you can see well you just uh, have to copy all these to this so I'll just do it again authenticate you'll have to replace one file for that that is you have to replace everything in my case because you don't usually you don't have those folders actually I've made those so even OS X and OS installed at mpkg have been edit has been edited by me to support stuff for you so this was the part you know 90% of it is done so open OS X installer in universal maker so most of the stuff is done so the main part is open chameleon bootloader well click on continue 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 and agree change install location select the drive as your USB drive click on continue click on customize chameleon bootloader let the standard be selected and settings everything else should be everything else should be deselected for example if this is selected by default is deselected and only these this one should be selected like kernel flags and then you go down you have like sorry guys kernel flags and when you go down in kernel flags you have npci equals 0x2000 there you go so just click on that one rest everything else don't select any themes or all because you won't be using this long so click ok and then uh, I won't be installing the chameleon again because installing chameleon again and again on the same drive you know drives kind of makes it weird so you will be entering your password install software it'll take a while so I'm gonna cancel that for now and once uh, installing chameleon is done onto your USB drive you should have all these files like you know you already copied them so you obviously have them so this was an, uh, the making of the USB drive to install Mavericks the rest steps have been made as simple as possible by me so hold on a second I'll go ahead and restart my computer and show you how it's done uh, sorry yeah so this is the USB that I've used Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. So guys it's restarting and I've connected back my USB So restart restart fast computer you know yeah There it goes so press F 2 L or whatever the key is for boot menu Yeah, so you should have this I guess you should have this go ahead and click on USB HDD that's the thing we just made and then you should be given with this just press any key and then you have this kiss mega so this is the USB that I've made so uh, carefully look at the boot flags that I enter let's try to zoom in a little bit 
I think that should do it. Yes. So for AMD computers, you have three kernels that have included. One is AMD underscore kernel, and the other one is AMD one underscore kernel, and the other one is AMD two underscore kernel. For Athlon and Phenom, AMD underscore kernel should work just fine and for some FX processors but just in case it doesn't work or gives you a blank screen or you have any issue after loading up, you, have, you can use AMD 1 underscore kernel or AMD 2 underscore kernel. These two are mainly uh, for FX processors so if you have a F FX processors, uh, processor you can directly start by AMD 1 underscore kernel. But as I told you, I'm using a AMD Phenom 2xx processor. I'll use AMD underscore kernel. And for Intel processors, it it normally boots up using Match underscore kernel. You don't have to type this. Listen, you don't have to type this for Core 2 Duo and Xeon. So if you, even if you don't type Match underscore kernel, it's by default going to load Match underscore kernel only. And Intel Haswell processors seem to have little uh, biting issues with Hackintosh. So I've included a better supported kernel for me uh, uh, Haswell. So what uh, it is Haswell underscore kernel Sorry Haswell underscore kernel. So loading Haswell underscore kernel is uh, important if you are on a Haswell computer and if you have Atom or IV Atom or IV uh, bridge processor then you have to use both have a uh, common kernel because both I don't know what they're similar in design or something so for Atom and IV you have to use Atom underscore kernel so this is for Atom and this thing so Apart from the kernel, you have to use like give me let me give you a uh, thing AMD underscore kernel graphics enabler is equal to yes or graphics enabler is equal to no in some cases depends completely on your graphics. If you are using an unsupported graphics card, then you have to use a PCI root UID equals one and NPCI equals zero H two thousand and minus x minus v that's that uh, i'll I, that's i'll it's written in the description so if i'll be using amd underscore kernel graphics enabler equals no and minus v so this will take a while i'll just zoom out because there's nothing much interesting going on on the screen Anyways, anyway guys, I am making uh, this whole coding programming shit for, you know, uh, Mavericks on all, uh, so that everyone can enjoy it. I, I hope people like it and people enjoy it. So, who is watching this, I, um, like, I request you to please like, comment and subscribe. And if possible, try making some small donations because... Uh, this an interesting project I'm working on. It's called Hack Pro. I've heard some people have already, you know, re made a replica of Mac Pro late 2013. I want to make a design which is economically viable for everyone. So I'll be making a few dummies of Hack Pro 2013 using materials and, you know, uh, using materials such as steel and all and make it economically you know accessible to everyone so i'll be making some of those and placing them on ebay people usually love such kind of stuff so i think they'll buy it and it'll be you know good like people make a hack and toss system and make it look like mac pro like what else can be better so guys this is loading up for some people it might get stuck on this white screen well you might not even have the mouse but if you wait for around 5 minutes at max on white screen and it still remains then you have to restart and change the graphics enabler but after 5 minutes or so you or like maximum 5 minutes or so 
you should have a great